amazing. These yeah. are the cheeses of uh, Carmine Bonacci, uh, a friend, first of all, but uh, a small uh, cheese producer based in uh, Giano Vetusto, province of Caserta. These uh, cheeses um, are drying, uh, they are uh, a mix of goat and uh, sheep milk, and they're going to become Conciato Romano cheeses. These are the containers uh, for the cheeses. In Italian they're called uh, fascere or fuscelle, according to their shape and size. So we have very small ones, rounded ones for the conciato, square boxes for a uh, cheese that he calls a mix of two milks or even three milks, so cow's milk, uh, goat's milk and uh, sheep's milk again. Here we have other containers for ricotta. We are now inside the refrigerator. These are the bloomy rinds. You can see the cheeses are quite soft and irregular in shape. These are the two milk mix. These are the conciati and uh, they're going to be cleaned uh, and washed with water. The water they are washed with is the water coming from pasta. What they do is they make pasta at home and they take the water they use to make the pasta which contains starch and they use it to wash the cheeses. That way the starch creates a film over the cheese that protects it. This is the rennet Carmine uses to make the cheese. These are a fresher kind of cheese that uh, Carmine has just uh, salted by hand and they're going to be put in a refrigerator in one or two days time. This is goat's milk and it has been heated up to 65 centigrades to deal with uh, unwanted bacteria and um, it has been uh, refrigerated, or rather cooled, to around uh, 30, 35 uh, centigrades, and it's ready to be curdled with the rennet. Carmine is uh, renovating his laboratories, so uh, work uh, is uh, going on. This is going to be part of his dairy. The whole place is going to be called Le Curti, which means uh, the little courtyards because of these arches that are traditional here in uh, Giano Vetusto. This is uh, old equipment that I'd like to describe is the smell coming from the wood that was previously used to age the cheeses. The smell is incredible and delicious. This is uh, Carmine's uh, milking equipment where the goats are milked. So the goats uh, access uh, through this uh, passageway, jump up here. The goat has basically two tits, uh, so Carmine can milk up to four goats at a time. He has eight goats up here. But then it also depends on the character and personality of the goat, whether she's easygoing or not, how many at a time he can actually milk. Here is the courtyard where uh, Carmine keeps around 100, 105 or so goats with a beautiful uh, shepherd dog. There are a couple of geese together with the goats, as you can hear. The goats have uh, managed to kill a couple of trees, uh, but uh, Carmine is going to protect the olive tree, which is very old. This is uh, the largest uh, ram. He's been tied because he's a little bit too 
uh, Randy and he might mount all of the goats without giving the other rams any chance to do so. This is the hay that is going to serve as fodder for the winter, uh, mostly obtained from uh, wild grass. This straw is going to serve as bedding for the animals during the winter. Uh, it's straw uh, obtained from uh, wheat. Uh, it's not very nutritious, but um, it can be eaten uh, by the goats. And especially on winter days, uh, it is given uh, to the goats uh, before going out grazing because it helps them get their digestion cycle started. So this land uh, belongs to Carmine's family. Uh, I can see many olive trees and many walnut trees. So uh, they produce a little bit of uh, olive oil uh, for the family. Uh, and in some instances, Carmine uses uh, the leaves of um, the walnut trees uh, to wrap his cheeses and give them a little bit of extra flavour.